For thousands of years, fire has been and remains the enemy of the forest, devastating colossal areas on all continents except Antarctica. Forest fires leave behind a lifeless black trail. The tendency for the flames to devour the green lungs of the planet is intimidating. The largest wildfire of the 19th century, which raged in Wisconsin in 1871, destroyed about 500,000 hectares of forest. The most devastating fire of the 20th century, which engulfed the eastern part of the Indonesian island of Kalimantan in 1982, incinerated about 800,000 hectares of forest. But nothing beats the wildfires of the 21st century. The area scorched by fire in Siberia alone this year is 20 times the area of the most destructive fire of the last century. But this year's fiery marathon is not over yet. So why are wildfires all over the world getting worse? The answer is in this video. Abnormal heat waves this year have become the main cause of catastrophic wildfires in various regions of the world. Greece, Turkey, the USA, and Russia face the strongest attack of the fire element. Turkey has experienced the worst wildfire season in the country's history. The spread of the fire was stopped by unreasonable efforts, but statistics on the damage caused have yet to be collected. However, it is already reliably known that 270 foci in 53 regions of the country turned 84,000 hectares of forest into ash. Greece, which has experienced the worst heat wave since 1987, is still struggling with the worst fires. In just a couple of weeks since the beginning of the fiery season, 125,000 hectares have been burned in Greece, one and a half times more than in Turkey. The World Meteorological Organization links the fires to an unprecedented heat wave like the region hasn't seen in the last 30 years. The scale of the disaster is even more frightening in the United States. The Dixie Fire, which began on July 13 in Northern California, despite a month and a half of intensive firefighting, managed to destroy more than 600,000 hectares across the state. In terms of the number of fires, 2021 has already surpassed 2020, which was considered the most destructive in the state in the entire history of documentary observations. And again, the cause of the fire is the soaring heat wave. But all these alarming numbers pale against the background of fires in Siberia, which until recently were associated more with permafrost and abnormal cold weather than with a fiery apocalypse. Uncontrolled wildfires have already broken annual records for greenhouse gas emissions, and the territory of destroyed forests in Siberia exceeded 17 million hectares. This is more than the area covered by forest fires in all other regions of the world taken together in 2021. According to ecologists, the restoration of Siberian forests could take more than 100 years, since in the harsh conditions of the far north, trees need more time to grow than in the south. Scientists identify three main reasons why forest fires are increasingly threatening the planet and humanity. First of all, we are talking about global warming. Abnormal fire activity in most regions is associated with atypical heat waves that linger over potentially fire-hazardous areas longer than usual. This leads to drying out of the land cover, increasing the risk of fires in the grass, lichens, and dead wood. They flare up like a match from lightning and dry thunderstorms that occur at high temperatures and low humidity. As scientists predict, one degree warming of the climate increases the frequency of such lightning by 10-12%. to 12 Moreover, the unusually warm and dry conditions encourage more proliferation of bark beetles and other insects that can weaken or kill trees. It also increases the specific gravity of deadwood, which is an ideal biofuel for fires. As a result, we see that fires burn much longer and destroy much more than usual. The area of wildfires in the western United States has roughly doubled since the 1980s due to climate change, researchers say. The second reason for the intensification of wildfires is directly related to human activities. With the development of new territories and mineral deposits, more and more points of contact between wild nature and civilization appear. At this junction, zones of increased risk are formed, where a person by their intentional or unintentional activities causes the spread of fire. The absolute remoteness of such settlements makes it difficult to fight the emerging fires. At the same time, fire in such isolated areas can spread extremely quickly and chaotically, 
cutting off the path of rescuing people from the epicenter of danger and making it difficult for rescue equipment to approach. Finally, there is a third reason why the fire becomes more merciless every year. It is associated with the so-called paradox of wildfire. The fact is that excessive suppression of fire results in uncontrolled old weakened trees to sprawl, which bark beetles actively occupy and turn into dead wood. Periodic fires destroy the so-called forest trash and renew the forest, making it more resistant to fires. Moreover, scorched areas of the forest become natural barriers that prevent future fires from turning into large-scale uncontrollable disasters. It turns out that putting out fires that do not threaten a person is not only useless but also dangerous. The forest was always on fire, but earlier it happened less often. Global warming and human activities make forest fires not just a natural phenomenon but a massive disaster. And the problem, as it turns out, is not only in the fire. According to the European Copernicus Atmospheric Monitoring Service, or CAMS, since June this year, wildfires in Siberia have emitted more than 188 megatons of carbon, equivalent to 505 megatons of carbon dioxide. By comparison, Germany, Europe's largest pollutant, emitted 750 megatons of carbon dioxide over the entire 2018. It turns out that forest fires further exacerbate the greenhouse effect, as a result of which the Earth heats up more. It turns out to be a vicious circle. What is more, the plume of smoke from the Siberian fires reached the North Pole for the first time this year. The bad news is that the deposition of ash and particulate matter in smoke on the ice of the Arctic Ocean can accelerate the melting of sea ice because the dark surface absorbs more heat. Will wildfires become a new threat to humanity? Will the planet be able to independently regulate this phenomenon? Or is it impossible to do without human intervention? Please share your opinion in the comments below.